Praise Yahweh, this infallible truth brought to you by the infallible true church of Yahshua the Messiah of the apostolic faith. I thank you once again for tuning into our website. I just want to jump here quickly to part two of a video I did about divorce, the truth about divorce. In that video, I was over in Matthew chapter 19 and verse 9, and I want to go there with you again because I want to go on the one thing he upheld in Moses' law as far as divorce and putting away your wife. But we'll read verse 9 first. It says, And I say unto you, Whosoever shall put away his wife, except it be for fornication, and shall marry another, committeth adultery. Now when the Pharisees came to him, tempting him, saying that Moses suffered them to put away the wives for every cause, what they were trying to say was, is it, is it, is the, in fact, is that true? Could you put away your wife for every, every cause? And the Messiah came to them and told them, except be for fornication, if you put away your wife for any other reason except for fornication and marry another, you'll be committing adultery. Now, I wanted to go into detail and explain exactly what he's talking about when he says except for fornication. For that, we have to go back to Deuteronomy. And we're going to start in Deuteronomy 22, and we're going to start at verse 13. It says, If any man take a wife, and go in unto her, and hate her, and give an occasion of speech against her, and bring up an evil name upon her, and say, I took this woman, and when I came unto her, I found her not a maid. Then shall the father of the damsel and her mother Take and bring forth the tokens of the damsel's virginity unto the elders of the city in the gate. And the damsel's father shall say unto the elders, I gave my daughter unto this man to wife, and he hateth her. And lo, he hath given occasion of speech against her, saying, I found not thy daughter a maid, and yet these are the tokens of my daughter's virginity. And they shall spread the cloth before the elders of the city. And the elders of the city shall take that man and chastise him. Now, I'm going to explain to you what if this is talking about. When it talks about except for, the, except for it be for fornication, that's talking about if a man takes a wife under the impression that, the, that his wife is a virgin and he goes in unto her and finds that, in fact, she isn't a virgin, then he has the right to put her away. Then he can go before his elders and say, you know, I married this woman. I testified saying I wanted a virgin as a wife. But I don't see, I, let, me, let me go back to those days just a second here. Back in those days, they would, they would take their wives and go in into her and they would, they would look for the, the stains of her virginity. In other words, if a woman is a virgin, when she has sex for the first time, it would leave a stain. And so then the man would know that, yes, this woman was in fact a virgin. But if a man goes into her, testifies first, saying, I want a virgin as a wife, and he sees someone, sees a, a lady that, that he would like to marry, and he says, I want a virgin as my wife, and she says, well, I am a virgin. And he takes her and he, as a wife, and he goes in unto her, and her stain of virginity isn't there. He can question her and say, are you, are you truly a virgin? Where is your stain of virginity? Where is the proof that's showing that actually you are a virgin? They could even tw try twice or three times. But if her stain of virginity isn't there, now he has a right to take her before the elders and say, I wanted a virgin as a wife, but... 
her stain of virginity isn't there. Her proof of being a virgin isn't there. They can ask the woman then and say, are you a virgin? Well, she can say, well, I, I slept with a man and it wasn't no more than five minutes. Well, then she's no longer a virgin. Now that man has a right to put her away. That's the only law that Yahshua upheld from, from Moses. The only reason that a man would, could put away his wife. But we live in a time now where a man will try to put his wife away for every cause. We know now that men won't use this as they, they won't use this as their excuse. They'll say, well, she doesn't clean the house. Or she doesn't have the figure she did when we first got married. Or I see my have my eye on someone else. No, no. Those aren't reasons those aren't reasons that Yahshua upheld. He only upheld this right here because it is right that for when a man and a woman become become one that is a good thing that they're that they're pure in the sight of God and so he upheld that because it's not good for someone to tell a lie so in that case the woman actually is lying to the to what would be her future husband about her virginity and that's not pleasing in the sight of God so that's why he was able to uphold just that one reason And so you have to be honest with yourself. When the subject of divorce comes up, you know yourself that that's not the, the reason that you hear your friends or your, your co-workers or your parents. That's not the reason they give for their reason of getting a divorce. So I just wanted to come to you once again. I wanted to go into detail there just to explain to you. I didn't want to leave you in confusion. I know it says except for the cause of fornication, but I didn't want to leave you confused. So I wanted to go over in detail and show you in the scriptures what that's actually talking about. But thank you and peace be.